What's up, YouTube? We got a yo-yo review to do today. Today, we will be reviewing The Good Life Gully. So The Good Life Gully is the brainchild of Mr. Michael Curdy himself. That's right, the man, the myth, the legend, Michael Curdy. Um, Michael Curdy decided to uh, split off and start his own yo-yo company at some point mid end of last year. The first release from The Good Life Yo-Yo Company is the gully. So the gully is clearly a bimetal that is kind of a fun, unique shape, but uh, still very competition driven and competition oriented. So let's go ahead and get into the specs of this yo-yo first. The diameter is 56.2 millimeters. The width is 44.18 millimeters. The gap width is 4.6 millimeters. It weighs in at 63.8 grams. So nice and light, nice light competition bimetal. Standard C size bearing with 19 millimeter pads. So Good Life Gully uh, is awesome. It's excellent. The design is great. The weight distribution is great. The ring placement is great. The weight is great. It's great. This is one of the most unique, fun, and competition driven yo yo's that I've ever had the privilege of playing. This yo yo really, really ticks off all the boxes because it's super fun. It's really light, which is a really neat, like, it's just a cool sensation. But at the same time, where this ring is placed kind of really gives it just a really fun feeling. It's very stable, very long spinning. Um, the cuts in here are great for grinds. Um, you, I mean, Michael and uh, Chandler Steel both use a lot of grinds in their routines. They both competed with the Gully at East Coast Masters this year, and... I think this yo-yo fits both Michael Curdy's style and actually Chandler Steele's style really, really well. Uh, they both throw it incredibly. And, I mean, this really just is a really fun yo-yo that just kind of also plays amazing for competition. Uh, here it is next to the SF Yo-Yo's Bliss. Uh, as you can see, it's a similar size to the Bliss. Uh, Bliss is a little heavier, a little bit wider, um, and the rings on the Bliss are out towards the end. The Bliss is a little more, less cuts, uh, in the shape, but, uh, you know, still similar in size to the Bliss. So if you like the size of the Bliss, you're going to like the size of the Gully. Um, Gully fits nice in the hand. Everything is nice and rounded over, so it's a nice, comfortable catch, although it is more or less a V-shape. So I really think that that was sort of the, like, idea behind it is that, like, he wants to get, like, sort of a organic, soft catch, but at the same time, and with, you know, cuts and grooves and stuff for good grinds, but at the same time, V yo-yo performance. Um, I gotta say, where the ring is placed, the fact that it's placed a little bit back, kind of makes me love the weight distribution of this yo-yo a lot. I would probably hate this yo-yo if the rings were clamped to the edge of it, because it's so light, it would just have all this weight on the ends, and then nothing through the center but the fact that the ring is moved back a little bit kind of gives it that nice balanced out doesn't play as wide as it is but it's still wider with a nice big catch zone to be able to just hit any competition style tricks you might want to do it with it uh the cup here is nice little uh nipple poking up from there but still plenty of room to finger spin around and uh if you hit the nipple dead on you can get like really long sort of matador style finger spins but it's not sharp so Really great design. Comes in a ton of really, really great colors. Uh, I think this was called Ripple. Yeah, this one was Ripple. And just, just a great <laughs> great yo-yo. Uh, but all the links down in the description for uh, the Good Life yo-yos. But let's, uh, let's go throw this around. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright guys, we are back with the Good Life Gully. So, uh, gotta say, this thing is a blast. Uh, super light, but where the weight distribution is, it doesn't play, like, overly light, I guess, is the best way to put it. Lots of power, but not, like, uncontrollable power. Uh, lots of control, lots of lightweight stability, but at the same time, just fun. Like, it's a fun shape. It does, you know, it's it's got all the fun aspects of, you know, it's... <laughs> There's nothing boring about this. We'll put it that way. Nothing boring about this yo-yo at all. Um, the fact that the uh, weight is moved back a little bit kind of make, gives it a like a feel of like a smaller yo-yo, but it's still plenty wide to uh, you know 
it's easy to catch on the string and just do all the things. Um, because it is so light, uh, it does give up just a little bit of stability. Um, I'd say that's probably its only real con. It gives it just a hair of stability. But in capable hands, my hands aren't that capable. But in capable hands, uh, that won't be a problem because it's still plenty stable. It's just not like insanity level stable. And that's, you know, I think you get that with a lighter yo-yo. But with the lighter yo-yo, you really just sort of get, you know, a lot more ability to play fast with it and to sort of just be able to have longer throwing sessions, I feel like. I feel like heavy yo-yos, like really light yo-yos that are stable, that spin a long time, are really great for like really long throwing sessions. And this really ticks off all those boxes. Uh, as far as grinds are concerned, this thing's great. Uh, the little bubbly type shape that it's got is just phenomenal for grinds. You don't get a lot of surface area touch because you get a lot of uh, just like air to where the it's kind of very bubbly in the center there. So your finger grinds on it and doesn't touch a lot of yo-yo, so it doesn't slow down very much. Plus you have a lot of power with the uh, stainless steel rings there. Uh, this thing is dead smooth. I mean, just, just, just buttery, buttery, delicious smoothness. And it looks great spinning too, because it's got like a fade with a splash, which is cool. Uh, buttery smoothness, which is wonderful. Not going to be your favorite finger spin yo-yo, but uh, if you ever watch Chandler Steele do stuff, he does tons of finger spin tricks and horizontal stuff. Uh, very capable for finger spins is what I'm getting at. Uh, uber capable as far as finger spins are concerned. Easy to catch. Lots of room there. And uh, binds nice too. So no, no worries about going horizontal with this bad boy. It will handle it no problemo, especially in the finger spin department. If finger spins are your thing, and finger spins are most people's thing, this thing can handle them, and it's very stable for finger spins. Uh, really just, you know, kind of a good for everything sort of yo-yo. Uh, it's not anybody's signature per se. It's the first release from Good Life Yo-Yos, and uh, it's the yo-yo that uh, Michael Curdy and Chandler Steele, who are two amazing players, are using in competition. So it needed to be a good enough yo-yo to be able to accommodate both of their play styles, uh, but at the same time, sort of good enough really for anybody's play style. And I think they really achieved that with the Gully. Uh, it's very, very nice. Uh, regardless of what you want to do with it, it'll handle it and it'll handle it with style and, and with fun. Uh, and, and, if that's not what good life's about, I, I don't know what it is. But let's go ahead, we'll uh, throw it on the desk, we'll take it apart, I'll show you guys the insides. All right guys, we are back on the desk with the good life yo-yo's gully. So let's go ahead and take this bad boy apart, show you what the guts look like. I don't think I've actually taken this apart yet. So let's see what it looks like. What does it look like? A little bit of Bill Murray there, I guess. Center track bearing. Spins good, nice and smooth. Back in there, there we go. Nice and smooth, pretty long axle, which is nice. Solid center track bearing. A lot going on there uh, in the design of the, uh, the yo-yo there. There's like a pretty cool like bubbled up step and then it kind of swoops down and then there's another bubble and then there's the outer ring there. As you can see, there's the uh, the ring in there, the ring is set back just, uh, it's almost just under halfway. Uh, so pretty cool there. Uh, those standard uh, clear, just silicone, those like fuzzy clear silicone pads. Great, great pads, great response. Uh, I mean, this thing really has it all. It really does. Uh, it's a really nice uh, performance yo-yo, really fun yo-yo. Uh, came apart nice, goes back together pretty okay and uh you know nice long axle so it doesn't feel like it's gonna strip I tightened it up pretty good no worries no problems there it comes with a few great colorways too they've got cherry limeade mud skipper cotton candy skies and then this is ripple uh all four of the colorways are really really good um i don't know what the cost was because they look they appear to be sold out 
Uh, I think I want to say these were 120 uh, when they dropped. Uh, and honest to God, if they do another run of these, you don't want to miss out. Uh, this is a great yo-yo. It's uh, it's a lot of fun to play, and it's also a really good competition yo-yo. And uh, you know, when you're looking at it from that respect, there's really no downside to this yo-yo. Uh, pros, I mean, great grind finish, great splashes, finger spinnable. Um, the ring plate, the weight distribution, and just the ring placement and everything is perfect. That ring doesn't get in your way. It doesn't snag on you, but it's nice and shiny, so it really pops on stage. Uh, so that looks really good. I really, really like the uh, the engraving. Here it just says gully, it's got some like waves or a mountain or something. And then there's no engraving on the other side, which is great, looks great. Um, you know, gap is nice, catch zone is good. Uh, got a nice like little step up there to sort of accommodate horizontal play. Uh, Chandler Steele does a ton of really awesome horizontal stuff uh, with this and you know, it, it handles it like a champ. He plays like a champ because he's really good and you know, this yo-yo totally accommodates. I mean, it's a great yo-yo. It plays great. It feels great. I mean, it just is great. Uh, there's really no cons to speak of unless you really like thumb grinds because there's no thumb grind lip. That's that's it. This yo-yo will do literally everything that's not thumb grind. A anything else. This yo-yo's got you back. That's going to do it for me today, guys. I, I This is kind of a short one. This is a good yo-yo. When these restock, buy one. Links to all the good life and all that stuff in the description. Uh, if you're able to pick one up on the BST or pick one off on the Good Life Yo-Yos, uh, goodlifeyoyos.com. Links are in the description. You're going to want to get one. Awesome yo-yo. Uh, Michael Curdy's awesome. Awesome dude. Uh, he just started his yo-yo company, came out to East Coast Masters. Both he and Chandler competed, and he helped sponsor. So I really can't thank Michael enough. I think he's a cool dude, and uh, I think he's a great asset to this yo-yo community, and I wish him the best of luck with the Good Life Yo-Yos. But if he's going to keep coming out with awesome yo-yos like this, he don't need luck. Because uh, these yo-yos speak for themselves. And this yo-yo is awesome. So uh, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.